Hi, I'm Tasha and I work here at the Alaska Sea Life Center Stranding Department. And we recently admitted two different birds from Alaska. One is from the Raptor Center in Juneau and the other is from Bird TLC. These birds um, were transferred to us because we are set up for a marine environment so we can take everything from seals to sea lions to marine birds such as puffins and waterfowl. The other two facilities are set up more for terrestrial birds such as hawks, owls, and songbirds. So those birds were transferred through us through our partnerships and through our partnerships we're able to work together to do what's best suited for these birds. These birds will soon be transferred to the Central Park Zoo and will live in an Arctic exhibit for education. Let's go check out the birds. So the first new patient we have is a Barrows Goldeneye and this is a male and they're named after their bright yellow eyes. He actually came to us from the Juno Raptor Center, found him with a wing injury. He was then transferred to Bird TLC where they did a surgery on him to help repair his wing so that he could be releasable. After months of intensive care, he was deemed unreleasable as the wing just didn't take and didn't heal properly. So now he's here with us and we're stabilizing him to get him ready for his transport. Um, this is our other patient. This is an Emperor Goose. She came to us from Bird TLC also. She was shot in Cold Bay and then found by a biologist and then transferred to Bird TLC where Bird TLC has had her since November. They put a pin in her wing to help heal it to see if she could be releasable, but the pin did not take. So now she's here with us and she's also going to be transferred to Central Park Zoo and they'll be leaving next Thursday. These birds are a very unique bird. They're um, here in Alaska throughout the summer and the winter. They nest on the Yukon Delta and winter out in the Aleutians. They are a near threatened species, so it's very neat to be able to see these birds up close. And even though she can't return to the wild, she'll be a great educational bird because very few people actually get to see them and appreciate their colors and their uniqueness.